body is about 60% water. Water is involved in every function in our body. So. But Lee Health registered dietitian and nutritionist Erica Graziani says many people aren't getting enough of it. If you're not having to, you know, use the restroom at least every, you know, two to four hours throughout the day, then you're probably not drinking a whole lot. That can lead to headaches, fatigue, constipation, poor skin health, and dehydration, which can be especially dangerous for athletes. They're dizzy or they're cramping or they're sweating or not sweating, um, nausea, vomiting, all of those different things are all signs. Your urine can be a good barometer for your hydration levels. But it should be like pale, pale yellow. If it's really dark, um, almost like a dark yellow or, or closer to orange, you're very dehydrated. Graziani says 64 ounces or eight cups of water a day is good for most people. Keep some water at your bedside. First thing you get up, start drinking water. And if you sip it and drink it all throughout the day, most people are gonna get in what they need. Graziani encourages her patients to avoid sodas, both regular and diet. She says sparkling water can be a nice change up, but plain water is best. Fruits and veggies can also help contribute to your fluid needs. For Lee Health, I'm Devin Turk.